So for this episode of Sub Building 101, we are going to be taking a look at how one goes about setting the voice coil height when um, building a subwoofer. So let's get started. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, so when you're setting the voice coil height, what you're essentially trying to do is get the windings of your voice coil to be in the midpoint of the top plate. So the top plate has a specific thickness. Uh, I believe in this, we'll take a measurement of that. I'll, sh I'll go through the tools I'm going to use to set all that up. And then you have your, your winding height. So the first thing we're going to do is take a pair of calipers. I'm using digital ones in this case. We're going to want to measure two things here. We're going to want to measure the uh, winding height. So I'm going to do that in millimeters. And I go from the bottom of the lowest winding to the top. So I've got 45.75 millimeters as my winding height. And then I'm going to write that down somewhere. Uh, 45.75. Then I'm going to divide that by two. So 2.875. Now what I do to simplify my life is put masking tape. The position isn't critical as long as you have tape over the midpoint of the winding. So go like that. And the reason I'm putting multiple pieces on is because I'm going to take this and I'm going to set it to the 22.875. Or 8. 8 as it were. Close enough, lock it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this on something so that it doesn't roll like this. And I'm going to mark the midpoint of the winding from the bottom. This is why we put the tape on here. So now, the next thing we're going to do is unlock this, and we're going to measure how thick the top plate is. Now I'm getting 8.68. So once again, we're going to divide 8.668 divided by 2 is... 
four, three, four millimeters. Now we could either just make it four, three, four, or add four, three, four to 22.875, which is what I'm going to do in this particular case. So 27.215. So that is the distance from the bottom of the winding to the top of the top plate if we're centering the winding on the top plate. 27.215. There we go, 27.22. So what we're gonna do again, we don't want this thing rolling around. We're gonna set, draw lines here. Now, here's where the real trick is, from my perspective, anyway. Setting it up, of course, when you're actually gluing this to the spiders and et cetera, et cetera, you need to shim this into the uh, uh, voice coil gap. But basically, we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. This upper line here, the upper line, this is the midpoint of the winding. This is the position of the top plate. So what you want to do is have your voice coil sitting so that top line is aligned with this upper surface of the top plate. Now, in order to do that, we want to basically drop in and stop at that location. What I use for that is hose clamps or uh, couplings. Now, this is a four inch hose clamp, which comes with clamps as well like the the metal hose ring clamp hose clamps and i would use that for a four inch for a four inch voice coil of course we're doing this with a two inch voice coil so i have a two inch hose clamp that i will slide onto the voice coil and line it up with those lines that i just drew on here that line up with the top plate Once we have them lined up, where's my screwdriver? We'll just gently tighten this on here. Roll it tighter so it doesn't slide quite as easily. And get it lined up with all of those lines that I drew. So that you know when you drop this thing into that voice coil gap, the voice coil will stop at the correct height. Now, in theory, one would have a basket on the motor and shims around the voice coil so that it sits centered, but you drop it in. And we're now sitting with the voice coil at the correct height. So now when we take our spiders and slide them over, we know nothing's slipping out of place. Of course, this isn't centered or anything like that, but. And we know that that's still sitting at the correct height because it can't move. That's what the whole clamp does. Of course, this isn't shimmed and it's just sloppy in there, but that is the entire process for setting your voice coil height. Once you have that hose clamp on there, you can glue all of your, your uh, cone assembly pieces onto the voice coil and know that you're going to be sitting at the right height. Um, this voice coil is just the right height for this. Perfect. 
So anyway, that wraps it up. That's all we're going to be showing for this video. That is how one goes about setting their voice quote height. That's been the most effective approach that I've been able to come up with. And it's what I use for every speaker that I work on, whether it's a, a two inch voice coil all the way up to the four inch voice coils or bigger, smaller, whatever, everything in between. I use the same process. Like I say, it gives you a solid voice coil to work on. It doesn't slide around. It keeps it at the correct height. Uh, you know your voice coil winding is centered on the top plate. Uh, so you have your X max even above and below the top plate. And then you're good to go. So anyway, that wraps up this video. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you'll hit that subscribe button. Um, thanks again.